Hey guys, welcome to my first video on modifying my Mini F56. T today we're going to be installing the uh, Forge Motorsport Short Shifter. There you go. All nice and brand new. Um, these are all the tools roughly we're going to need. I might be missing one or two, like an Allen key or a spanner. But if I have missed anything, I'll let you know in the video. Um, I've got the instructions as well, just in case if I do get do get a bit lost. But um, I think it'll be all okay. Um, what else? What else is there? But yeah, so this is the uh, this comes all this comes in the box when you buy it. You've got tool to take out the stock short shift the stock shifter. Um, so that, that that's that's it there. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I would recommend having a box of some sort to keep any bolts because you don't want to be losing anything. Otherwise, life can get very complicated very quickly. Um, but let's get to it. So the very first step in this process is we're going to want to remove this plastic cover by removing this bolt, this bolt and a clip over here. So now that's all done, that was really simple, two bolts, unclip and gently pull it out. Um, it is plastic so you don't want to rip it out and potentially have it snap. The next step is to unplug the sensor, which is just a white clip and you push it out. Um, it can be a bit tricky because mine was upside down, um, but you push it out, unplug it and it comes straight off. And then the next step is removing this uh, coil around here to get the air, air filter out. You want to have a flathead screwdriver to just loosen this out. You don't have to take it off. And uh, another 10 millimeter socket to take off this bolt over here. wiggling and it has come out and if you just pull this out being careful there we go and it's all out there's the air, fil air filter so we're going to be replacing this piece of metal here with a short shifter um, which is going to be extremely lighter which is quite good um, I'm going to put it into reverse gear so we get the best um, positioning with everything so it makes the job a lot easier. Now we have to release the pin inside this bracket here. Um, Forge supplies the tool to do that and it, it's just going to push the pin straight through and then just pops out the other side. So the way we install this is we put it over the bracket and start feeding it through making sure it's aligned there we go. And then what we get is a spanner. So there's the pin. So now we should be able to just remove this. From the housing. Yep, so all we do is pull the shift arm towards yourself. Might require some WD-40.
So there we go, we've taken that out. That took quite a lot of force, as you can see. A lot of WD-40, um, but that has just slid, slid off. I do recommend doing it from the right hand side because you get more leverage than just doing it from over the top. So here we've got the short shifter and we've got the bolt that's included. All we're gonna do is push it in. And there we go, it's in there now. We're gonna get our second bolt. And just screw it in. And that this on when it's close to this side, that's the shortest shift. And then you can have in between, and then that's the longest shift. I'm gonna have it just there. There we go. There we go. Now we have to reinstall this um, with the ball facing up and we're just going to have to, there's like an extra piece of metal here that we're going to have to reattach into the side here. So if we do that now, give it a wiggle in. There we go, it's going in. There we go. That is in. All installed. And to make sure you've aligned the um, short shifter properly, you can get a tiny little Allen key like this and just poke it through the hole and it should just come out the other end. So we just poke it through and there it is, it's right there. So now we can reinstall the bolt that comes with the short shifter. So I've done it, uh, I've got to tighten it it through there. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to tighten it up now. So that's all tight and on. All we do is we take the shift arm and we just pump back on. There we go. Making sure it's tight. That's all finished. Nothing's loose, nothing's coming off. All looks good. Um, and yeah, so now we're gonna just do the steps backwards and put everything back in. So this air intake should just clip into the clips which are provided in the car. Just line them up and make sure you line this up. Them lined up, that's the other. Put that in. I think that's in. Hose is lined up, that's lined up. Then we can reconnect the electrics. That's in. We'll do that one last. Reinstall this. That's not going anywhere. Remember to tighten that back up as well. Get your flat, flat head screwdriver and just make sure it's all connected as well. There we go, so you should see a clip. Put 
this back over it as well. Make sure the clip goes in. There we go, just hear a clip. Let me get the other two bolts. That's tight, and then we can just reconnect this just like so, and that's everything done. Um, only thing I'd mention is careful not to drop any bolts because I did, and it was a pain to get out. Um, yeah, I had to take off the under tray of the engine bay, which is down the bottom under the car, but I managed to reach my hand through and get the bolt. But that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to enjoy your short shifter.